Hey new mamas, welcome back. It's Ellie. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed already, hit the little red subscribe button down below and hit the bell too so you know when my next video comes out. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about how overwhelmed I was by all the baby pictures I ended up with. So right around Christmas time last year, I realized that I just had like, we're talking like 20,000 baby pictures. Um, if you don't know, I had my first daughter two years ago in December and then my second daughter one year ago in December. So I just had uh, thousands and thousands of pictures, tens of thousands of pictures. And it just became too much because I didn't have a system in place and I just got really nervous that I was gonna lose a bunch of stuff and it just kind of terrified me and I had a little bit of a breakdown because I didn't know what to do. So I have since come up with a plan and that is what I'm going to share with you today. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is have your photos backed up. So what I had done almost without really realizing it, um, when Anna was first born, I went ahead and did Amazon photos. Now, if you're a Prime member, you get unlimited photo storage, which is great. You also get like five gigs of video storage, which you can always pay for more if you need it. Um, but so I did Amazon, and then I also backed up my photos from my phone to um, my computer, and then also to a hard drive. And then lastly, and I don't know why it took me so long to do this, I backed everything up to Google Photos. I love Google. I don't know why I didn't think that the photo app was going to be useful to me, but it just took me a really long time to get on board. But I've done that now and I'm really happy with it and I feel so much, so much relief uh, knowing that everything is continuously being backed up and that if my phone falls in the toilet, it's okay. So that would be my first recommendation is get everything backed up so that you don't have to worry about your phone being stolen or broken or whatever. Second thing you need to do is decide how you want to use your photos. Um, and there's like a bajillion ways you could do this. So four ways that I have found um, are as follows. Uh, my very my my very best friend, my very best friend told me that she actually got like a photo box and whenever she has pictures that she really likes, she prints them at like, you know, a photo kiosk at like CVS or Walmart. And she just puts them in the box. And then that way she can use them if she needs a photo or she can just pull them out and look at them. And I just thought that was a really nice way to like physically have the photos. It just, it gave me comfort, um, the idea of having the photos physically in my house. Now, on that same note, I also want to print some to like hang up on the walls. I actually want to make them scrapbooks. So to just have those pictures on hand because you never know when you're going to have time to work on that stuff. So if you just have the supplies ready, you can do it whenever you have the time. I don't know when, but soon. Uh, on top of scrapbooks, I still have their baby books that I want to do, and I want to put pictures in there. Okay, so there's an app called One Second Every Day, and it takes like a snippet, one second snippet of either a video or a photo every day, and you can make like a movie out of it. And it's so cool to watch a whole bunch of them together. So I'm gonna do that. That'll be kind of like, like to share with friends and family, and to put on social media. That way you get a lot of images and you can kind of almost see your kids grow that way too. Um, and then I just wanted to talk about chat books. Um, they're just really nice, beautiful um, photo books. Um, and then there's also Shutterfly, which you probably have heard of. Shutterfly also allows you to make photo books. I made my wedding album on Shutterfly, um, but also I have heard that you can get um, little fridge magnets um, pretty cheaply through Shutterfly. So to start getting those like every Christmas when they go on sale or something like that. Um, so it's kind of my plan is to do um, a photo box and then second every day, chat books, Shutterfly, 
Awesome. So once you have your plan in place for how you're going to um, store, back up, and then use your photos, your next step is going to be sorting through your photos. Now this is my next step currently and what I am going to do is obviously focus on when they were born and their birthdays or any other milestones like, um, you know, baby milestones are huge, but also like uh, a baptism or anything of that nature. And then holidays. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go through all my photos and specifically pick out those points. And then I think too, I might put uh, like a cap of like 50 to 100 photos for just like random cute photos. We'll see. My babies are real cute. So I might not be able to stick to that cap, but it, my babies are real cute. That is my plan, you guys, and I'll let you know how it goes, but I hope this just gives you some ideas and kind of a forewarning. If you are about to have your baby or you just had your baby, you definitely want to get a plan in place and just know what you're going to do and what's going to work best for you. So I hope you like this video and let me know in the comments down below how old your baby is and how many pictures you already have on your phone because that would be kind of fun to see. And I hope to see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye. Okay. I should not have worn a sweatshirt.